All right, guys, just got to Sandy Point. I'm gonna try to get some bait or see if their spot is running around over here. I remember my dad used to put me off here and let me fish because I got seasick. So this, I know it's good crabbing over here as well, but um, just want to check if there's spot around still because I know it's getting a little colder now. But yeah, uh, we used to get, get rental boats over here as well at the marina. They sell bait and uh, snacks, everything you need. The bathroom is right there at that pointy building. And I know there is also a, a fishing um, pier or rock at the end too, like you saw in my drone footage, but I don't really like to fish over there because the boats coming in and out and this choppy is pretty shallow too, so. Running the Chesapeake Sabikis with lugworms on my Dock Demon. Just testing it out real quick. If they don't bite here, I just go to the beach and fish on the surf. Try to get some bluefish or something, hopefully. Yeah, we have some here, guys. Small, probably a spot. Sorry for the sun glare. Yeah, spot. Small feller. Alrighty. Looks like they're still around. That's good. That's a good sign. Throw them back, though. Too small. Let's try that again. There we go. Got some here. Hey, man, you were not wrong. This perch. Yeah, man. <laughs> small one, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah small. Cool. Yeah, Were, was the other guy catching bigger ones? Huh? Was the other guy catching bigger ones? About maybe a good six inches. Okay, that's pretty yep. good then. Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the hay real quick. But yeah, I, I had to pay twenty dollars today because they had a seafood festival, and I asked the guys like, could I attend the seafood festival too? Then he's like, oh, sorry, we can't. So I was like, that's ridiculous. This is why I don't go to Sandy Point. You gotta pay all these fees, wait in line to get in. Honestly, I don't even like fishing from the the surf, especially in Maryland, because I just don't want to get my car dirty. Sand, you can't vacuum out your car. It's just a mess, so. But yeah, this is the bathroom. That's the marina store. All right, as I move to the, the beach here, I forgot to mention, if you have a grass shrimp net, you can just like swirl around these pilings and you could probably catch a lot. I've seen people do it. I, I know one guy at uh, Jonas Green who does that. And then he, he basically comes here with his annual pass, gets bait, and then drives off to Jonas Green. All right, guys, just got to one of the beach fishing areas. Right ahead is the bathroom. People grilling, porta potties, extra porta potties if you don't want to go to the bathroom. There's no more parking, so actually, right in front of me, that's where the boat launches are, but that's where I parked and walked on over here. Um, this is one of the areas that you can fish from the beach on. I know, like, on Google Maps, you can look at the Flounder Pavilion. This, there's rocks over there, rock pilings that you can fish from, but that's where the Seafood Fest is happening, so. Just gonna set up my rods now. Get this off, get that off. Yeah, in front of that lighthouse you guys see. Looks like a lot of people fishing at that pavilion over there where there's rock piling. There's at least seven to eight people over there. I don't know, you can see, but uh, I can edit it and show you there's a lot of people over there. I was fishing over there the other time. Now I'm at this last jetty that you can fish on before it hits private property over here. All right. That's deep enough, I hope. Yeah, I have really long um, fit rod holders because if you fish the surf in Florida, you know the waves come up really high, so you want to get your line out of the water so it doesn't get pulled. All right, these are the filleted up spots I had. Uh, caught from previous videos that you saw. Oh, I choked it a little bit there, but it's all right. Something here, guys. I set up my surf rods. Now I'm bottom fishing with this rod. It's probably a spot, honestly. Or, yeah, he's still on. Here we go. Oh, it's a white perch. Small guy, though. It's all good. Oh man, that's probably a rockfish or something. Yeah. All right guys, setting up already. I'm using razor clamps today on my high-low. See what this one is. Still on? Yeah, still on. Oh yeah. What can it be here? Any color? Yeah, he's coming. Oh, he's a big one too. Rockfish? Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that, that's a catfish. Oh yeah, channel cat. Oh. 
Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yo, catfish nuggets for dinner. Yes, indeed. Let's see what it is. Ooh, nice part perch. I'm gonna keep this guy. Check this one out. That's probably hand size, I'll say. There we go. Up after yourself, guys. Look at what look at what I pulled up. So this is where we eat our fish. Everyone's keeping their fish and all this dirty junk. It's ridiculous. All right, I'll be get it off here. There we go. It's, it's crazy. People can't clean after themselves. I think I have something here. Yeah. What can you? Oh, a small spot. Oh, I'm gonna cut this guy up. Nice. I live line this spot, guys. Right here. All right. Not too far. Basically, just working rock pilings again, like I said, in front of me. Throwing as near as I can without actually hitting the rocks. Already got any hits. On. Just like that. See what it is. Spot, I think. Yeah, another spot. Decent size one too. Fish here. Probably 12 inches, I'll say. On a cut, cut bunker, I think. Right? Using cut, uh, cut bunker? Yeah. Nice. Oh, small spot here. Check this guy out. Small guy. Right there. Looks like he's on something here. Perch. Oh, I'm on too. Just like that. Or he came off. Hopefully he's still on. No, he's still on. Small guy here. Another spot. Guys, small. Barely tugging. Uh, it's a small spot. Change it up for the speaking. Working a little bit better than the high-low. Let's put him back here. Well, you know what? I actually might keep him. Or not. Too small. Are you keeping these small guys? Um, no, I'm using for bait. All right, you want them? I was going to throw them back. If not... No, I want them. Okay. Both of us. Yes. Got a perch. Ooh, a double up. Nice perch and spot. Nice, nice. Oh man, so far no bluefish, no stingrays, no rockfish. But there's something has been taking my bait though, so I've been chasing it out here and there. Fish on. Ooh, it's a big perch. Big old perch. That's a slab right there. Hand size. Yep. Nice thick too. Check that out. Size of my reel. Something hit it. Guys, it's been every cast I catch something, so the fish are definitely biting right now. The bottom fish, at least. Just like that. He's on too. Perch. I probably have a spot, but we'll see. Yep, spot. They're chewing. Big fish, guys, big fish. Just kidding, I snagged, so be careful here if you fish throwing towards the rock. My first snag, hopefully I get it back. All right, y'all, I'll show you the path to get here in reverse since I'm leaving right now. Basically, you park in the parking lot that I showed you earlier on on my video and then you just walk on over because in the flounder pavilion you can't really enter it you can and you can get here from the flounder pavilion but it's not allowed apparently so you just have to walk here all right y'all i was fishing off this beach right here earlier on in the video and basically you just take this path 
and you walk straight down and you'll get to that jetty and here's the parking lot that's basically it all right let's talk about how you get here so i would put in flounder pavilion beachfront into your gps because when you put sandy point in it normally cuts off once you take this turn and you might get lost and as for places to fish there's multiple places there's this jetty where boats come in and out i don't prefer to fish it for that reason and it's pretty shallow and there's also this pier right where the boat launch is uh, you saw my intro the, the surf where i was fishing to and then this jetty as well let's talk about how you get to all these areas so for this pier you would just park where the boats launch and then for this jetty you would park in the blue lot and then walk on down which is pretty far too so that's why i don't prefer fishing over there another reason and then for the surf and this jetty right here what you want to do is take a left go through this path and then park in this area and then to get to the jetty you will go down this path like you saw in my video and to the surf you would just take this exit right here and then walk on over if this lot is full, you would have to park in the blue lot or the launch area and then walk on over. Normally this lot is locked off. Hopefully the Marina Star does rentals again too. I know they stopped because of COVID. But yeah, that's basically it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well. <laughs>